welcome back to WS Cube Tech. So, guys, in our previous session, we learned what are the different data types that we have in MySQL. In our today's session, we will be starting with creation of a table. So, in our previous sessions, we have covered that how we can connect our MySQL with our Python. That means how to create a database. Plus, we have also learned to connect it with the Python. So, in our today's session, to the connected database, that means that database that we created in our previous to previous module, what we will be doing, we will be creating a table inside it, that means we will be inserting fields over here. So, let's have a look on how these fields can be inserted, how we can create columns for the students. Before that, if you want to become a successful data analyst and if you want to learn from our experts live, then you can call on the given number or you can fill the form that is provided in our description. Not just that, with our every batch, you will be getting two demo classes for free. So guys, this was the code with the help of which we created a database called as students over here. Now today, what we will be doing, we will be creating a table over here. For creating a table, again, we have to write import mysql.connector. After importing mysql.connector, the same procedure we will be following over here. Just like how we created a connection over here in mydb. Similarly, we will be creating a my database over here that uh, we have a my database into which what we will be doing, we will be creating a connection by writing mysql.connector.connect over here. Inside this, we will be uh, providing with the following data that is our host. Our host is equals to uh, local host. Next would be our user. So user would be root. I'll be putting a comma over here. After that, what we will be doing, we will be asked, writing our password. So our password over here is 12345. And because we are working on this database called as school now. So what we will be writing, we will be writing the database detail over as well over here that, that we have a database. The name of the database is students. We have written down the value of database over here that which database we are going to use. After this, I'll be closing uh, the parentheses over here. Once we are done with this, we will be creating a cursor over here. That cursor is equals to my da database dot cursor over here. And after this, we will be executing our changes. So what uh, the for execution over here, that means for writing cursor dot execute over here. Uh, we can directly execute the creation of a table directly into over here or what we can do, we can create a variable over here for let's say data. I'll be creating a variable called as data in which we will be writing all the fields over here. So for that, we need to write our create query over here. So create and table because we are going to create a table over here. So create table, What ta where we have to create this table, we have to write this that thing over here that we will be creating this table in students. What all things we will be adding over here that also we need to mention over here that uh, inside this student table what all fields we are writing over here that means what if, what all things we need. So let's say we need a student role number, we need a student name, we need a student grade, email ID and phone number. So these are a few things that we will be needing. So let's write them down. First of all talking about student role number. So I'll be writing student. Oh, first of all I'll be just writing role number because we already know it's about the students category so we just I'll just write role number over here role number will be which uh, database we will be writing int over here for this and that it, it belongs to the integers so up to 12 characters can be inserted over here in the role number also it should be our primary key over here so I'll be writing primary key and at the same time we what we will be doing because role number auto increases so we will be using our auto increase over here so auto increment we will be using after this, what we will be doing, we will be create, talking about our next thing. So after role number, we have a student name. So we will be writing name. Name in, uh, So name will be what name will be a where care over here. Why where care? Because uh, obviously we will be having what uh, we will be having letters over here. So letters up to how many letters you wanted. So 255 is the range. But if you want to define that, okay, I want to I want only up to 50 letters over here or 10 letters, 20 letters, 30 letters. So you can define it over here that I am putting 50 letters over here that inside the name where care we need uh, 50 letters and that's all. After that we have student grade. So class we can write that class over here will be creating class and class will be what again it will be a where care because we don't know if a person will write 1, 2, 3, 4 or we can write 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 3rd, 4th, 10th, 12th, 11th something like that. So for that we will be writing it as a where care only. 
and where can let's take it up to 15 even 15 is more but still let's just keep it up to 15 over here let's put it inside the triple quotations over here so that wherever we want we can press and enter over here and i'll be putting this also inside the triple quotations and yeah after this uh class what we need we need uh, next thing as our after name so we have roll number we have name we have class we need uh, maybe email address so let's ask for the email id so email and email would be again where care so i'll be writing where care and up to 255 and lastly what we'll be writing phone number so phone number and phone number would be in integer so we know that a uh, phone number cannot exceed up to 10 digits over here so what we will be doing we will be writing integer only over here and lastly we'll be using our parentheses to close it and now what we need to execute over here we need to execute this data over here so i'll be writing this data that this data needs to be executed let's run and see if we get any uh, error or not so once we have run this uh, what output we'll get let's go over here let's go to students and i'll just refresh it over here and let's see uh, some tables we have a student data table over here which has column roll number name class email phone number so you can see all the data has been added over here that all the columns we have over here so that means a table has been created with all the fields that we have mentioned over here that is roll number name class email and phone number so this is how a table has been created so i hope guys this method is clear to you first of all you just have to build the connection just like how we have done previously and after that inside the data that means you can create a variable data directly or you can also write inside the cursor dot execute this same thing over here what we need to do because we are going to create a table we will be using a create query that create table what table we have to create we have to create a table called as students over here and inside it we will be writing the roll number which will be a primary key which will auto increase and it will be an integer that means only up to 11 digits it can uh, can be added inside it similarly we will be creating a variable called as name that means a field called as name where we will be writing the student's name and the where care will be used over there the where care up to 50 letters will be used over there while at the same time for the class that means for the grade of the students we will be using where care 15 again and email where care again and if you want you can keep it up to 255 or you can customize and change it to up to 50 also phone number uh, phone number will be an integer so integer why integer because phone number is not more than 10 digits over here that's why we have used int over here that means it allows us to keep up to 11 digits but still the phone number is 10 digits so yeah here we have used phone number as int and lastly we executed what we have executed this data variable over here and that's how our table has been created so i hope guys that you guys have no doubts and no questions in our next session we will be talking about the insert query that means we will be learning that how to insert data inside this table so for now we have created a table but now we'll be learning how to insert the data inside this table so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you